Good morning. It's a great day to be a Gamecock. Before we begin today, I'd like to recognize and thank a few folks who are in attendance today. First, I'd like to thank our Board of Trustees and President Beeler for his leadership and guidance during this process. There's no doubt that President Beeler is a great leader and has a great vision for our entire university. It's also a special weekend for him and his family as JSU will inaugurate Dr. Beeler as our 12th president during the investor ceremony tomorrow. So congratulations, President Beeler, on this special weekend. I'd like to thank our athletic department staff for their efforts and time during this process. Many of them put aside their personal calendars and changed their plans to ensure that we devoted the time necessary to select the best possible person for this position. We are truly blessed at Jacksonville State with an athletic staff that truly does care about all of our student athletes. So I'd like to take just a moment to thank all of our athletic staff members for your help in this. I'm also happy to see JSU Hall of Fame coach Bill Jones here with us today. He's our all-time winningest coach, and he has our only national championship in basketball. So, Coach Jones, thank you so much for coming with us today as well. Finally, I'd like to thank our student athletes. A coaching transition is never easy on anyone, especially our student athletes. I really appreciate the maturity they've shown during this process, and I've said it many times. It's not about athletic directors, coaches, or staff members. It's about our student athletes and providing them with a great experience. I want everyone to know what a difficult search this was for all involved. We had more than 180 applicants that wanted to be the head basketball coach at Jacksonville State. We had many very qualified applicants that ranged from current and former college head coaches, current and former assistant coaches ranging from Power Five conferences down to very successful Division II and Division III coaches, as well as some of the top high school coaches in the Southeast. Throughout the process, I kept hearing over and over how great the athletic teams are at Jacksonville State and how successful our athletic program is. People in college athletics and coaching circles are excited about what's going on here at Jacksonville State, and that's a testament and reflection on the culture that has been established throughout our entire athletic department and a true tip of the hat to our coaches, staff, and our student athletes. We are certainly proud of the 63 Ohio Valley Conference championships the Gamecocks have won since we joined the league in 2003, but we're also proud of the fact that our student athletes have posted a cumulative grade point average higher than the 3.0 for nine straight semesters. That allows the president and myself to talk about that we're not only champions on the fields and courts of competition, but we're also champions in the classroom. When we began our search for a new coach, we were looking for a coach that had a winning record, knows what it takes to be successful on the court and also in the classroom. We were looking for someone with head coaching experience, someone who could recruit top talent, someone who was familiar with the region and the Ohio Valley Conference, someone who could relate to our community, and someone who has a desire and passion for making a difference in the lives of our student athletes. I'm excited to stand before you today to let you know that we found all of those characteristics and then some in Coach Ray Harper. He is a winner and he has proven that at every stop he has made in his 30 plus years of coaching experience. He has a career record of 431 wins in 17 years as a head coach. That includes four national championships, five national runner-up finishes, eight conference titles, seven conference coach of the year honors. He's been selected as national coach of the year five times. In nine years at Kentucky Wesleyan, Coach Harper laid claim to seven NCAA coaching records surpassing Division I record holders in all instances, including becoming the fastest to 200 wins, holding the most consecutive 30-win seasons with six, and compiling the most wins in each of his first four through eight seasons of his career. With NCAA Division II title game appearances each season from 1998 through 2003, he became the first NCAA head coach since John Wooden to appear in six straight NCAA National Championship games. Coach Harper's nine-year record of 247 wins to just 46 losses at Kentucky Wesleyan gives him an incredible winning percentage of 84.3%. He spent the previous five years as the head coach at Western Kentucky where he won almost 90 games, which includes three 20-win seasons, two trips to the NCAA tournament, and a pair of Sunbelt Conference Tournament Championships. President Beeler, this time if you'd come up and join me. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our honor and pleasure to present the new basketball coach at Jacksonville State University, Coach Ray Harper.
You may move over here so I can see it. <laughs> Thank you. There was a time when I could have worn that jersey. It may be a little small now, <laughs> but um, but again, thank you, and Doc and and Greg. Thank you guys for for the opportunity to be here today. Uh, you know, when I had the opportunity to meet with them over the last week, week and a half, it became apparent that the vision of of this university and this athletics program was a place that I was excited and. Uh, made it very easy decision for me that this was the right place and the right time to be at Jacksonville State. Uh, also, my family from Kentucky, so the attendance is going to increase automatically <laughs> with them, uh, but thankful that they could be here today as well. Um, the one thing, Greg, you talked about Coach Jones and my memories of Kentucky Westland, Jacksonville State, and. He said the only national championship that Jacksonville State won, I can tell you that was in 1985. It was also my last game as a college basketball player at Kentucky Westland against Jacksonville State in the Final Four. But uh, what, I, what I developed at that time was a great respect for Coach Jones and what he was able to build here. Uh, I met one of his former players after we played at UAB this year. We were out by the bus. His name's Johnny Pelham. Johnny's here today, but he came up and he said, I don't know if you remember me, but my name's Johnny Pelham. I said, oh, I remember you. You were a shooter. Get after him, make him put the ball on the floor. I said, I, don't res re I do not forget scouting reports. I don't forget those things. That's been a long time ago. My wife will tell you I'll forget what I'm supposed to get at the grocery store, but I do not forget what I'm supposed to do at practice or scouting reports. Um, but again, I want to thank Coach Jones for being here today. And the powerhouse that he built here in the 1980s and the Division II National Championships, there's tradition here, there's history here, and my goal is to bring the pride and those, those aspirations to win championships back to Jacksonville State. You built the foundation, and it's going to be our job to continue to brick by brick to build it and build it a complete house. But again, Coach, thanks for being here today, and hopefully – we're going to be able to spend a lot more time together. Um, tell you a funny story. Before we played UAB, well, he didn't sit on the bench when we were at UAB. Before our first game, we were talking in the conference tournament. I said, Coach, you know, I think these guys are going to play us zone today. And he says, Hey, have you ever ran this double stack that we used to run? I said, I'm not sure. We get the clipboard. Coach Jones is drawing up plays. We run it during the game, it works perfectly. So. You're going to have to sit on the bench and draw up some plays this year for us as well. But, you know, again, about opportunities, and, and I feel like this is an opportunity, and I can't tell you how excited I am. I think people talk about luck and different things in life, and I've always preached to my t kids that luck is nothing more than opportunity meets preparation. And I can assure you the opportunities here, I'm prepared, and some of the guys are here today. I uh, met with them briefly last night, and the one thing that we've always tried to instill in kids is, is a work ethic. We're all about dedication, we're all about discipline, and we're all about defense. We try to build those three things, the three Ds. Um, I've always said kids, they're not concerned about how much you know until they know how much you care. I told them last night, if, I wish they could talk to some of my former players, I'm a relationship guy, and what I want to see for those guys is win championships, get degrees, and be good people, be, be good men. Um, I don't know how many texts we had last night. Um, my wife said she couldn't sleep, uh, but it buzzed. I, I have a tendency to keep it right next to me. And so this morning I get up, and the first one came in at 2.55, I think it was, and that was from – one of my former players that lives in Turkey, so who knows what time it was in Turkey. But it's exciting to me to, to see some of those things and, and to know that you've made an impact on people's lives. I mean, uh, as Coach Jones will tell you, I'm sure he made an impact on Johnny's life and a lot, most of the kids that he, that he ever coached. And it's more than about wins and losses. And I can't tell you how excited I am to be here today. Our goals are to win championships. 
I'm just, uh, I know the OVC. Uh, I know that uh, we're going to build rivalries. Uh, and when they come into this arena, we want to make it the toughest place in the OVC to play. And it's going to start as soon as we can get to work on Monday. Uh, but it's going to be about these kids believing, trusting, trusting in each other. And we're going to build that relationship starting Monday. And I promise you this, if you come watch us play, you're going to say those kids play hard, they play together. May not always be pretty, but we'll play the game the right way. And I think it's why we've been able to have some success throughout my career. I've had some good players. I've played against some teams with a lot better players. I've had some teams with less talent that achieved more success. It's about playing the game the right way and being committed. And I can tell you right now, that's what we are uh, here at Jacksonville State. It's all about putting banners up here. And we're going to do that uh, starting real soon. So again, I, I appreciate you being here today. And we're looking forward to getting this thing started. And we've got a lot of work to do. We've got to get these guys uh, that are here. They're the most important piece to this, uh, for us to build this where we want to build it. But obviously, we know we've got to hit the ground running. Obviously, recruiting is in full swing. Uh, signing date's coming up soon. Uh, so we've got to get out there and make sure we get these guys some help so we can start hanging banners. But appreciate you being here. Look forward uh, to getting started and uh, being a part of uh, Gamecock Nation. So thank you very much. Okay, we got just a couple of presentations. I will let uh, Dr. Mia, Dr. Mia, Dr. Mia go first. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, I'd like to uh, present uh, Coach Harper with uh, two special things. One is a presidential tie, and the other is a, he'll be the first one to get a presidential coin. Everyone else gets them tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Thank you. And also, we'd like the uh, new First Lady of Basketball, Shannon, to come up, and we'd like to give her uh, some roses. Is that for her, too? Oh, this is for you, too. <laughs> 